Expedite, the pre-workout is, is designed to really help you get through those moments where you feel a little fatigued. Sometimes your body does get a little tired, you know, it gets a little sore. But this kind of stuff picks you right back up. Big story broke last night that uh, Jarrell Miller has lost, uh, has failed a drugs test. He's supposed to be fighting here in a month's time, of whatever it is. Um, you were, you you lost to Lamont Peterson, who then later failed a drugs test. What, is it, what are your thoughts on that, on that news, Jarrell Miller failing a, a drugs test? You know what? Test? I just find it very sad uh, that fighters taking drugs for you know that of two, for just for extra help in for in cat fights. I think they should be banned for good. I mean, I know Miller is a nice guy, but you know what the thing is, when you're taking a substance that you're gonna, that's helping you and cheat, and, and uh, you know, I just think that it's, it's unfair, and uh, I just feel sad for Andy Joshua, who obviously folks, he, all that training he's done, he has to now change an opponent. Is it the right time to do it, or maybe is it time to kind of take a break? A break. I remember taking that, having that time when I had to fight against Lamont Peace in the rematch. He got caught probably being positive, and then I came back and took a rush to fight against Danny Garcia and was knocked out. So big down that only happened because I rushed to fight, in my opinion. If I didn't rush that fight, then I only had trained for three weeks for Danny Garcia, and I think. Uh, well, change for th uh, 12 weeks before that, but three weeks just to uh, change my game plan. It's not, it's not enough time, so I don't want that. Uh, I don't want Andy to rush. I want him to follow uh, the right, 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 follow his mind, follow what he believes in.